Hey everybody, my name is Michael DiTullo and today we're going to draw a steam train. So this is a steam train that I drew earlier for Instagram Live and the steam train we'll draw today will be something like this. Um, we'll get some nice smokestacks here, kind of a classic old school steam train, um, more like a toy train a little bit really. All right, are you guys ready to draw along? Okay, so as usual, I'm going to be drawing with a Sharpie, but you can draw with whatever you want. Um, I like to draw with a nice dark pen because it shows up nice on camera um, and it also just forces me to just accept the, all the mistakes that I make. I make mistakes all the time and that's okay. Okay, so the first part I'm gonna draw with our steam train is the boiler on the engine. That's kind of the, the key shape to get right. Um, and the boiler is a cylinder and a cylinder, all the cylinder is is like a, it's just a circle in space, a circle kind of p tip, p tilted in space is a uh, is an oval, and then we're gonna take a few lines off of that, and that is gonna make a cylinder. So let's get the cylinder of our steam train. It's gonna go horizontal, because our train is horizontal. Um, and then I'm gonna make it taper back in space a little bit in perspective. And that is gonna be the very beginning of our steam train. That is the cylinder that makes up the boiler. Behind the boiler is the cab. So to make the cab, I'm going to basically draw a box in space. And that is where our engineer is gonna sit. Underneath the boiler in the very front is something called the cow catcher. So that's that, that kind of triangular pointy thing in the very front of the train that will move anything that's on the tracks off the tracks. And then below the cow catcher um, is gonna be a little bit of a space and then the tracks. So I'm just gonna draw a nice straight, straightish line. I'm gonna draw it a few times that's gonna be our tracks. Behind the engine is gonna be the first car, and the first car in a steam train is always called the coal tender. And that is where all the coal for the steam goes to make the steam for the engine. And then behind the coal tender, we'll start to get all of our railroad cars. So in this case, I wanna make it all freight cars. So I'm just gonna draw a nice big rectangle that's tapering back in space. This is a what we call a one point perspective. So all the lines, you notice, are, are converging way back over here. And that gives us a sense of depth and perspective. And then these lines are coming back and converging back over here. Now I'm gonna separate these cars. So here's one car. Notice I'm just gonna do two lines there and then as they go back in space, they get smaller because that's in perspective, that's the illusion of depth that, that we see in our eyes. So this next one, it's not gonna be the same size, it's gonna be about half the size. All right, I'm gonna come back to my engine now. So I have kind of my the format for my steam train all laid out. Now I'm gonna start adding some smaller forms. Not really getting into details yet, just smaller forms. So one of the key details on a steam train is the smokestack. Right? All that steam's gotta go somewhere. And the smokestack is another cylinder that intersects this cylinder. So just like I drew this cylinder with an oval and then two lines coming down, I'm gonna do the same thing. And then where these two cylinders come together, it's not a straight line, it's not a perfect arc, it's almost like a potato chip shape. So notice I'm just gonna do this line and that. You can't see the other side of it, but if you were, if I were to dot it in there, you could see it would almost make like a, a potato chip. And then usually our, our smokestack has a little bit of a flare at the top. So I'm gonna draw another oval and a, and a third oval, and I'm gonna connect all those together. And then in the front of our train, 
there's usually a headlight. So that headlight is another little cylinder. Like that. And the, the front of our um, the front of our boiler isn't flat. It's kind of domed, right? It has almost like a bowl shape. Um, and so because it has that bowl shape, this cylinder isn't in the center. It's off to it's offset here because it's hitting at the apex here. In between the cow catcher and the uh, the boiler, there's usually a platform. And that platform is there so that the engineer can walk out um, and do different things on the boiler if he ever has to. And then beneath that platform, we're gonna have our wheels. So there's our two front wheels. Behind the two front wheels, there's a piston. The piston drives the arms that drive the, the large drive wheel. So I'm gonna do a nice big oval, that's gonna be our drive wheel. So our piston comes out, it connects to that drive wheel and pushes it. Now notice how my drive wheel um, intersected with my cabin, that's okay. That was, a, that was a mistake, but we're gonna work with that mistake. And I'm gonna make my platform do a jog. And that is gonna accommodate for that. And then on top of my, on top of my cab here, would be some kind of a roof. So I'm gonna get that in there. And then there would be some windows. So I'm gonna do one front window here. And then you'll see just a little bit of the other front window on the other side. darken those in. Now this might be a little bit advanced and you can you can skip this part if you want to or you can just watch me do it or you can try it yourself. I want to draw an engineer sticking his head out of the side window here. So instead of drawing the window first which would totally overlap with our engineer I'm gonna start by drawing his head. So the first thing I'm gonna draw is his beard. I always think of a, a train engineer as having a nice big beard for some reason. So his, his beard is kind of like a dotted U shape there. And then on top of his beard, I want to draw his hat. Engineers always have these interesting little hats. Kind of a cap. And now I'm going to add a little bit of detail to him. So let's give him a nose and some eyes, and a little bit of a smile, and some ears. And then maybe his, his arm is sticking out the window there too. We don't have to draw every detail of them. We just need to draw enough of them that you understand what it is. So now that we have our engineer shape in there, now I can draw the window in the background because that's behind him. He's sticking his head out the window. Kind of like the way a dog sticks his head out the window when you drive down the street. I'm gonna keep adding detail all the way back. So I try to work the whole thing at the same time. I'll add some level of detail and then I'll work my way back and add another level of detail to the, to the uh, engine here. So the, the next thing I wanna add to our coal tender is some coal. So I'm just gonna draw like a little pile of coal here, a little bit messy. I think it's just filled with some coal. And then I'm gonna do some dots in there to indicate the coal. And if you watched my last video on teddy bears, you know that that is called stippling. And now I'm gonna add some wheels for our coal tender, just a couple of small wheels. I'm gonna start adding some wheels for our cars while I'm adding wheels. Notice I'm just drawing the same oval, but as I go back, the ovals get smaller and smaller, right? Because that's that perspective. And then when you go all the way back here, they're almost just nothing, right? They're so tiny. And then usually the railroad cars, right? Usually they are these um, vertical or, and sometimes horizontal boards, right? So let's, let's just draw those boards in. So I'm just drawing the same line over and over again. I'm gonna do a little bit of a darker line between the two cars there. Again, the lines, a little bit of a darker line between the two cars, and then the lines. And now we got some nice 
with some nice uh, freight cars. Underneath those freight cars, I would see a little bit of the underside of the box and the axles, but it's gonna be very dark. So I'm just gonna kind of indicate it. Right? I'm not gonna draw every detail down there, but I'm just gonna show you a little bit. Sometimes, sometimes drawing is learning as much of what not to draw, right? So we don't need to draw every detail everywhere. We just need to draw enough that people know what we're drawing. It's kind of like when you have a really good friend and you can uh, finish each other's sentences, right? Sometimes your friend doesn't need to even say everything he was gonna say and, and you know what he meant. Sometimes drawing's a little bit like that too, right? So all we need to do is to say enough for people to know what we meant and they'll fill in the blanks themselves. See that? All of a sudden that magically became freight cars. Like I said, I'm gonna come back and start adding some more detail. So maybe our maybe our coal tender has some nice little details. It's it's a little bit framed out, you know, this reinforced with some boards here like that. And maybe there's some, some nice little horizontal boards in there. Gonna add a little bit of a detail on these these earlier wheels and the, the axles poking through. And now I'm ready to add some details back in my engine. So I'm gonna start with the spokes of the wheel. So the interesting thing when I draw these spokes, you notice I'm actually not drawing the spokes. I'm drawing the spaces in between the spokes. That's called negative space because instead of drawing the actual thing. I'm drawing the empty space in between the thing. So notice how I got a bunch of spokes on there by drawing these little pie-shaped triangles that are the spaces between the spokes. And I'm gonna come in and, and darken the outside of that. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of a darker line underneath this uh, connecting rod that connects to the piston. And then What's going on back here is gonna be all in shadow, so we can just kind of darken that in with our marker here. I'm just filling that in. Notice a lot of times I have to go over um, my marker a few times so that I can get it nice and black. there on that, drawing a little bit darker line underneath here, underneath our piston. And then over on this side of the train, so here's our, our drive wheel on this side. Now here's our side of the cab. Our other side of the cab is over here, and so there would be another drive wheel over here. So I'm going to show that in shadow down here. So that is the other drive wheel, way on the other side of the train. The same thing's gonna happen with these front wheels. So it's right behind the cow catcher. So on the other side of the cow catcher over here, you would see the other wheel, but it's underneath all this, so it'd be in shadow. And then there's a second wheel behind it. And now I'm gonna add a little bit of detail to these front wheels. They're gonna get a little bit more detail than these because they're closer to us. So maybe there's some, some rivets that go around the edge. And I'm just gonna show those rivets with some dots. And a little bit more detail on our piston. So the piston, the steam goes from the boiler into the piston and it forces the piston to push this connecting rod and that makes the wheel turn. So. We're gonna add some little details to there. There's probably some rivets holding it together. And now the same, we're gonna start doing the same kind of a detail to our engine. So 
darken that in a little bit. And then maybe there's some rivets that hold the front of the boiler to it. And then usually the boilers are made in sections because they're giant pieces of metal um, and they have to be built. And so there's usually a few seams. And because those seams have to be really strong, they're held together with rivets. I'm gonna start to, to darken in my, my smokestack here. And you can see, even though I did all these extra lines here, because I'm putting some nice darker lines on, on the, the lines that are the final lines, they start to go away. These lines are called construction lines. And every artist makes construction lines to, to make what they're trying to get to. Sometimes they, they trace it or erase it to get rid of those lines. And sometimes, like me, we just leave them. And then usually there's a bell back here. So I'm gonna add a bell. Just gonna draw a nice simple bell with some supports. And then maybe there's also a, a whistle. So we got a smokestack, our bell, and our whistle. And we come back down here, darken that, darken our platform edge a little bit. I like to darken almost anything that you could get your hand around. So these other lines I'll leave lighter, but if you can, if you can imagine reaching into this toy train and sticking your hand around a shape, I'll make it a darker color. So the same with the, the edge of our cow catcher. And a cow catcher is usually made up of a, a bunch of metal bars. And just like how we did the spokes on the wheel, I wanna draw those by drawing the negative space. So instead of drawing each individual bar, I'll draw the gaps between the bars. You can see then that gets our cow catcher. And then I'm gonna shade the underside of this roof here. Gives it a nice little bit of dimension. Again, coming back on some of these final things. Notice how, notice how I started from the front and I drew to the back. And then I went from the front to the back again with detail. And then from the back to the front. And now I'm, again, I'm going from the front to the back. And that's that way I kind of keep the, the entire drawing at the same level. Instead of just drawing this engine or this bell or this whistle until it's done, I work on it a little bit at a time. And that helps me to see what's missing. It helps me to almost like take a break from the area. Now I'm gonna draw the, the underside of our tracks. So I'm gonna get a second line here. That's gonna be our track. And on the bottom of our tracks, there's usually railroad ties, right? And that holds the tracks down. So again, our, our railroad ties are gonna get a little bit smaller as they go back. Each one a little smaller, a little closer. These ones up front are gonna be real nice and big. You're not gonna see too much of them because they're underneath there. And then usually each railroad tie has a metal stake holding it down. So I'm just gonna do that little detail. And then this whole thing usually sits on a bed of gravel. So the way I'm gonna show the gravel is by doing some stippling. What else does our train need here? Let's see. I think every steam train probably needs some steam coming out of the smokestack, right? So let's add that. Now I'm gonna add the steam just by doing a bunch of little arcs. And I make those arcs go all along the top, getting a little bit bigger as they go. Coming out here. Notice how I make the arcs kind of touch each other. That gives me my, that sense of being real billowy steam. And then one thing I like to do when I'm doing a drawing like this where some things are going off the page, right? So the steam's going off the page, the train's kind of going off the page, is I want to draw a line here, just going straight up and down. And then 
I'm gonna draw, I'm gonna turn my page and get another nice line here, kind of connect to it. It's gonna hit the tracks. And then go along here like that. See how that makes, almost makes it look like the train is coming right out of the page. It's coming right at us. I'm just gonna fix some little things up as I go. And now I'm gonna get, I'm gonna do something called a dry marker technique where I take a little bit of a, a old marker. Let me see if I can find an old one here in my whole, my whole thing of markers. Um, and I'm gonna go really fast and that's gonna help me to shade it. So this one looks like it's a nice old one. I'm gonna, gonna try this over here on this, this practice cylinder that I made. And I wanna shade the side of the train a little bit. Oh yeah, see that's a nice dry one. And so by using an old marker and moving really fast, see how I can make some shading? Now that looks a lot more cylindrical. So I'm gonna do the same thing along my engine here. So this is the front edge of the cylinder and I'm just gonna pull some lines. It's just almost like I'm just pulling them along. Now you can do this with a gray marker or a different color marker. Um, I like to just do it with an old Sharpie. I keep my, I keep my old markers when, they're, when they seem like they're dead. And they take on a new life to be my shading markers. I'm gonna do the same thing with the smokestack here. And you see by doing that, it kinda makes those construction lines go away because they go into the background. And now all that I'm seeing is the shading. Same thing under here. And then just a little bit up here because this is facing upwards. So notice how on this cone, um, I made it a little bit darker because it's facing down, right? So that's shadow. And same here, this is the shadow. And then this is a highlight because that's where the light's coming from. I'm gonna do a little bit on the side of our cab here. You see how now that looks different, right? I can see the front from the side a little bit. Same here on the side of our cold tender. I think that's looking pretty nice. Oh yeah, that's looking good. And then just a little bit here. I'm gonna just draw a little bit here just to give a, a sense. Remember how we said how this was like a bowl shape? So now that looks like it's a little bit more of a shape. The underside of my bell. And maybe our, our whistle is, is making a, a whistle sound. Maybe it's, it's, it's giving us our, our train toot. I'm just gonna draw out the sound. Doot doot. Yeah, it's coming from the whistle. I think that is looking pretty good. Sometimes when I do a drawing like this, I like to add something a little bit funny in the details so that people can see. And one thing I'm gonna draw, so, you know, we have our train, it's on the tracks and there's some gravel, but maybe there's a little grassy area down here and in the grassy area, there's a little bunny rabbit just doing his little bunny rabbit thing. So to draw the bunny rabbit, I'm gonna start with this U shape and that's gonna be his butt and his front, his back legs. There you go, that's his leg. And then let's give him his little, his little tail. And then his front leg hanging down there. And his, his Fat bunny cheeks and nose. And let's get some nice big ears on them. There we go, we got a little bunny hanging out. And now let's put some, some grass behind him. I'm just gonna do some Squiggly lines, I, I love doing this, it's kind of fun. So 
squiggly lines and maybe some, some cattails over here. And I just like doing stuff like that. I think it adds a little personality to the sketch. All right, and the last thing I like to do, sign it up. Always sign your work. Even if it's good, if it's bad, it doesn't matter. You did it. You always gotta take credit for that. Each sketch is a little bit better than the last one and that's why we keep doing it. That's why I draw every day. All right, everybody. Thanks for joining me for drawing our steam train today. I hope you had fun. I hope you drew along or maybe you just watched and, and enjoyed it. Um, if you have any comments or questions about how I did what I did, please leave them below in the comments section. I'd love to hear from you guys. If you have any suggestions for future things, you know, something you'd like to see me draw, go ahead and leave it in the comments. I, I love suggestions on what to draw next. Um, and as always, if you like this video and you want to see more, please hit like and subscribe and I'll try to post some more. All right, everybody, keep sketching.